Kenyon Martin says 85% of NBA players are smoking weed. Hey guys, it's Sophie Julia here for The Fumble. To find out the hottest sports news and gossip, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join our notification squad. Happy 420, everyone! Not a holiday I participate in, but I hope if you do, you're enjoying yourself. Some of your favorite basketball players might be celebrating as well. Although the NBA bans the use of marijuana, former player Kenya Martin estimates that about 85% of the league finds ways to get high. In a roundtable discussion for Bleacher Report, Matt Barnes added that it's not only the players who smoke, but executives and coaches as well. The moderator asked, how many closet smokers are there in the NBA? Kenyon replied, I think 85% of the league. It was a lot of people who you wouldn't think smoked. How many closet smokers do you think there are? I think 85% of the league. Well, I think the, like our old like NBA since I left. Yes, yeah. Like early, mid 2000s. There's a lot of people who you wouldn't think, you know what I'm saying? Like, Al Harrington added, mostly everybody is a closet smoker. All my billionaire mentors or whatever, they all consume. They smoke like they smoke like crazy. Barnes went on to say he smoked pot before games throughout his entire 14-year career. 29 states have legalized the use of medical marijuana, and on top of that, nine states have legalized recreational pot. Do you think athletes should be allowed to smoke weed? Comment below and let me know. If you think it's only NBA players who are getting high, think again. Former tight end Martellus Bennett thinks the percentage of NFL players who smoke are even higher, where injuries and physical pain are even more prevalent. Bennett told Bleacher Report, I want to say about 89% of the NFL use marijuana. Weed is one of the NFL and NBA's banned substances, with a failed drug test leading to a suspension and fine even for players in states where weed is legal. Former NFL player John Moffitt noted that the league is essentially looking away by only testing once a year. Former defensive lineman Sean Smith said he used to smoke two blunts before every game over his 10 seasons in the NFL. He echoed Barnes's point about hypocrisy, saying, shoot, coaches do it, personnel does it, people upstairs do it, quarterbacks, guys that are your captains, leaders of the team, everybody has their reason. They do it for their pain. Lots of players were suspended last season for smoking weed. I'm not sure how some get away with smoking and some don't if apparently 89% of the league is doing it. While I do think getting high is unproductive, I think if it helps these guys and doesn't interfere with their performance, they should be allowed. Do you think weed will ever be legalized in the NFL or the NBA? Let me know in the comments below. I think maybe within the next three years it could be removed from the banned substances list, especially since it's becoming legal around the country. For the hottest sports news and gossip, like, subscribe, and comment below, and be sure to shop the Fumble store for the latest sports gear.